Annie's a spectacular championships horse. She's super consistent. She has tons of blood, so she doesn't run out of energy over several days. She definitely breeds a lot of confidence. And you know, she's always working with you. She's always trying to, to help you, uh, and that's, uh, I think, a must. She's young, fresh legs, and you know, I, I think most people consider her one of the best horses in the world right now. McLean Ward and Double H Azure, a partnership designed for major championships. Here we take a look back at their 2017 season and some statistics that cannot be beaten. Two finals, seven jumping rounds, zero poles hit. And it began on home soil at the Longines FEI World Cup final in Omaha, Nebraska, where McLean was about to compete in his 17th final. She's incredibly gifted. There's a lot of horse, which sometimes you would think is difficult in a small arena like this, but she, she handles it well. And, uh, you know, the biggest thing I have to do is not, uh, you know, not get in her way. I've dreamed of winning uh, major championships uh, since I was a very young rider. I'm, you know, starting to wonder if it's in the cards for me. I've been very close a number of times. Uh, one would think after 17 tries you might get it right once. Uh, but you know, like I said, we're just going to compete the best. A good performance is something I'd certainly be proud of for my horse and I. Uh, you know, a win would, would be a bonus. Final one, round one. And this home favourite was about to lead from the front. We're here in Omaha and in the arena, the world's number four in the global rankings. McLean Ward with the wonderful mayor, H.H. Azure. And if nothing else, you should just look at the style of this man. One of the most beautiful stylists. Always beautiful position, short reins, going with the horse. And look at this mare jumping. 16th final for McLean Ward. Oh. Yet to win one. Oh, she, Ooh. look at that. She's on form, this lady. Oh, McLean, it took a big distance there. Just beautifully, just holding her off with his lovely seat and just those balancing hands. It's really a little bit of equitation to watch this man riding. He has a high, a high way of holding his hands, but she's got quite a short neck for her big body. I can feel oh. the crowds here. Can you, we can hear the crowds. They're getting very, very excited indeed. I thought you were going to say you could feel me and hear the crowds. <laughs> Two to go. 60.71 the time. He's good, he's up there. Look at he that, he's annihilating it. Oh! <laughs> McLean Ward makes it look easy here in Omaha. The crowds are standing. We've been looking a little bit, and these two are really on another planet. And if he's going to keep riding like this, and she's going to keep jumping like this, the others can all pack up and move on. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, I'm pleased. It's it's the way you want to start. It's always nice to get going, uh, but it, it, it's a long weekend, and uh, you know I think I have a good enough horse to win this. I just need uh, things to go my way, and we need to do our job well. A new day and a new tie pin for the superstitious Ward, but it was to be the same old outcome as day one for the combination. Last to go, overnight leader for the United States of America, McLean Ward with H H Azure. This man, a great believer in mental training, worked together with golf legend, mental trainer Bob Rutella. And certainly today when he was walking the course, he was going about it like a golf player would go across the greens and uh, looking at all the various uh, different heights and lines. And he was asking where the bush is going to be in and the jump off. And then he was going through it with longtime coach and uh, respect person for, I think, all the Americans, George Morris. Ooh. And this mare jumping just as beautifully as she did yesterday. Sometimes it's, yeah, sometimes she's a little bit sloppy in front. And there she had a rub coming out. And then you could see McLean just gave her time after the triple combination. He'll have to watch out for that. But he just gave her three or four strides just to gain her composure again before riding to the next oxer. Comes up the inside on the five so that he could still wait on the five. Beautifully ridden. And again, here keeps her up in front of him. Two to go. Is to watch the time, Phil. 
73 seconds the time allowed McLean Ward for that estates can he make it the sixth clear of the evening yes he can he's gonna send the roof off here off this stadium they've got absolutely berserk McLean Ward for the United States he keeps the flag flying Yeah, Hunter Harrison and his entire family are going to be sitting at home on the edge of their seats because Gregory Wadlett has forced this man into a shoot-down situation. He has got to go out there and beat Gregory. Oh, lucky touch, boy. The crowds are starting to get very, very vocal here. There's two to go. 10 seconds to get home. This is an incredible round. 39.39 to beat. He's in plenty of time. He stops the clock in 36.87 seconds. Would you believe it? McLean Ward and H.H. H. Gazier take the number one slot on day two. They have replicated their win from last night. This place is going absolutely crazy here in Omaha. Yeah, she jumped great. I, I didn't think I gave her the best uh, ride in the first round. You know, the jumps came very quick. It was a lot of fences in a small ring for a big horse and felt a little rough. And we had a couple light rubs uh, and it kind of knocked the, the pressure off. Yeah, I said, OK, in the jump off, we take a bit of a shot. And I, I thought it went off really well. Always a good chance. It's nice to be in that position. You know, these points are crucial. Uh, Gregory's not giving me an inch. And, uh, you know, it's going to be great to be in the battle on Sunday. And what a battle it was about to be. With one day left to go, the partnership still hadn't conceded a single penalty. With the likes of Gregory Wathelay and Enric van Eckerman breathing down his neck, the Americans simply had to handle the pressure. The crowds here in Omaha have been very, very supporting, really getting behind every horse and rider combination here, but I think secretly they all just want this man to win. And what? a cracking couple of rounds we've seen over the last, or three rounds in fact, over the last three days. Oh, it's been foot perfect. Uh, this wonderful mare and this outstanding rider together are just an unbeatable combination. But of course, it's, it's a game of nerves now for them. She has been jumping in top form all weekend and McLean has been riding beautifully, but you know how it is, coming into the last day as leader is possibly the most difficult position to be in. It's always easier to be the underdog and to fight up, but uh, he's ready for this now, McLean. He's, he's spent years for this, waiting for this moment, and he, he's ready for this today. Great piece of riding and a super piece of jumping. Keep quiet, everybody. Help him over these last three jumps. Still clear. McLean Ward bidding for the biggest win of his career. He jumps the last, he stays in the number one spot. We've got another round to go, but that's got the 12,000 people going here in Omaha at the CenturyLink Stadium. Well, what another superb round from this American technician. So a career spanning three decades, 17 World Cup finals, seven top 10 finishes, now came down to just one more round. The trophy that had always eluded him was about to be won. Jumping for the championship, jumping for the biggest victory in his career. McLean Ward with double H as year. I have a funny feeling, Phil. Clear and he's won it. Time faults and he's won it. One down, we have a jump off. Careful. Good girl. Get her up, get her up. Good girl. <sighs> oh, come on, McLean. Two to go, still clear. 
one, just the Oxer. Will he be champion? Is he going to win the final here? Yes, he is. He's got success. The crowd's absolutely alight here in Dover. McLean Ward with double H as year has not touched a fence over the last four days. What an incredibly historic moment we have witnessed here in this incredible stadium in Omaha. She's incredible. I said from day one how special she is. Uh, I'd uh, sell my soul to the devil to keep her, you know. And uh, I think she's, uh, I think she's the best in the world. And just once in a while, I can stay out of her way. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome your 2017 champion, McLean Ward, Double H Azure. A journey that began at Ward's first final in 1995 had finally been completed by Double H Azure in 2017. What an incredible feat from two brilliant, brilliant athletes. What a partnership. There was no let up from there. After the success in individual competition, the duo went straight into their much loved team series. Uh, I think representing your country in any international event is, is ultimately what your legacy of an athlete is going to come down to. It doesn't matter how many individual titles you win, and those are phenomenal, don't get me wrong. I mean, we all want individual titles and we want to win the Grand Prix. Um, but what you're going to read about down the road is, is what you did as a country and what you did for your country uh, and how you represented uh, your country not only in the ring but also outside of the ring. Uh, I think that's uh, what your legacy is as an athlete. On paper, the USA went into the Longines FEI jumping Nations Cup final in Barcelona as favourites with a team that consisted of Lauren Hoff, Laura Kraut, BZ Madden, and last to go, McLean Ward. She was second in Calgary. He didn't perhaps get the win that he wanted, but second is also an amazing result. And then he's geared her coming from there to here. So she should really here be in absolute top form. And of course, McLean, a rider who's very, very focused, sets his goals and goes for those goals which is something you can do when you have a genius horse underneath you. And this is a very important round. A four fault round will just help that cause that, that time fault from Laura Crowd. It's like I always said, people don't speak about uh, the ones who have the fence is down when it gets lost and it was a time fault it's the person who has the time fault who always seems to be the dummy which is often quite unfair and this mare jumping as good as I have ever seen her jump and it just looks like he's just riding them into the final another Absolutely awesome performance from the FEI World Cup champion, Double H Azir. What a horse, what a rider. McLean Ward, he goes clear, and that throws Team USA into must be the favourite spot to be victorious on Saturday. They finished on four faults, like the Netherlands, but their performance has been absolutely stunning. Sadly, it wasn't to be for the Americans. By the time last line rider McLean entered the ring for his second round, the strong Dutch side had the competition wrapped up. But the partnership knew a clear would guarantee the team's second spot and a place in the history books. McLean Ward for the United States with double H Azure. Comes in on the six strides. Azure was, of course, with McLean, our Longines FEI World Cup final winners this year in Omaha. Second in the Grand Prix of Calgary a couple of weeks ago, jumped her sparingly. This was one of his big goals for this year, was to come here and win it with the team. They can't win it anymore. He can have a slice out of the pot. And this mare jumped beautifully on Thursday. Such a wonderful combination to see together.
Another impeccable performance from the Longin FEI World Cup champion. A clear from a clean ward and double H is here for the United States. Clear on Thursday, another clear tonight. So that leaves Team USA on four faults. 2017, two major championship finals, seven rounds of jumping, zero poles hit. A season to remember for a truly special championship partnership. <laughs>